Hey guys, here with a very cool file manager app for the iOS devices. This is running on the iPad mini. Uh, it's called Documents, like you see right here, from Readable, Readable I think it is. Uh, let's go open it up. Um, this app is free. That's amazing because it has so many features that, you know, I, I would have obviously paid for an app like this. It's very, very good. Uh, first of all, when you open it up, you're going to see some um, uh, um, documents that are downloaded with the app. So th this would help you as an example of everything that it's capable of. For example, it has here like a music file right there. You can go ahead and play music from there. Very cool. Uh, you can also um, read PDF files. You can see right there. And you could also use it in this mode, which looks very, very nice. Like you see right there, very, very nice. Um, if you want to see the extensions of this file, you can go ahead over here and change to this view, and you can see the extensions of the file PDF, .zip, .text, JPEG, PNG, and pages. But I want to see it like this. You could also see video, video um, photos from here very cool uh, and this is all saved in your in your space of the the iPad uh, you could also unpack zip as well so like you see right there I unpack this one and there it is so it, it can also extract um, zip files which is very cool here you could also use it with your iCloud so all your documents will sync in between devices you have to set it up when you first install this app and here you got networks this is a very cool feature from here um, you the great thing about this app is that you can have if you have if you have SkyDrive Google Drive Dropbox if you click here I could add more uh, it also you could also create your own FTP server uh, it has SugarSync, it has BoxDocs.net, it has Office 365, that's awesome, MyDisk.se, Files, Anywhere, Storage Gate, and Cloud Me. So like you see right there, it has lots of service, lots of service for um, um, cloud saving. And the great thing about this app is that you can have it all in one app. You can have every single one of them in one app. That's awesome. So right here, if I click on here, it will take me to my Dropbox folder. This is from the cloud. This, these are not in my tablet right now. These are all Google Drive. This is all in the cloud. And I can say that right there, it looks very, very cool. And the great thing also, you can also download something from one app and put it on another app. Like for example, if I go here and let's say I want to download um, one PDF file from here. Um, let's go ahead and click on that so it will automatically open up but when it opens up it, act, it automatically saves it to your tablet which is very cool and this PDF um, um, reader is very cool because you could click on there and you could go over here choose a color for example let's choose red and you can go ahead and highlight and look at that it looks very cool and you can also change colors over here and go ahead and highlight that. That's nice. You can go ahead over here and go and underline. Not bad. And click done. At any time, you can go ahead here and change colors if you want. Like you see right there. Or you can go ahead and, and write a note. Or you can go ahead here and just clear it. Very, very cool. Very nice feature it has. And what, like you see right there, once you click on one of them, once you click on it, it's going to be downloaded to your tablet offline, available on your on your tablet, on your iPad without, without having to go to um, the cloud, having to have be connected. Um, from here, once you have a, a, a file in your tablet, you can also click over here and you can go ahead from choose it and you can go ahead here and upload to another cloud service for example if I downloaded this one from Dropbox and I want to put it on my Google Drive I could go ahead and just click Google Drive and I could go ahead, go ahead and here and cre create a new folder if I want in my Google Drive or I could go ahead here and choose this folder and click upload and voila now the file I, ha I have moved my copy or copied my file to another cloud service which is awesome very very easily very nice and here you got your recent files 
and here there's like a browser if you click here there's a browser and for example this is good for example if you go to a website and you see something that you like right let's say for example I go to uh, YouTube and there's something I want to I want to copy from here I go ahead and head here and click uh, save page and it will save as a PDF go ahead and click here and I'll go save the doc, the page as a HTML document as a PDF document if I want and click done so now it automatically saving the page like you see right there it's saving the page to my tablet and the other cool feature is here where for example if I click over here you go to settings uh, you can also create a, a passkey so you can lock the app so nobody can have access it, to it that's very cool to protect your your data and over here like you see right there it says Wi-Fi drive so that means that you can uh, make sure it's enabled and that means you can now use your iPad as a, an external drive on your computer you could drag and drop files from your from your iPad to the computer and from the computer to the iPad it works let me go over here it works on Windows it works on Mac OS Windows XP and it also works on any browser as well and I, okay and now I'm going to show you guys how it actually works here with the iPad mini with the uh, MacBook Pro over here but keep in mind it works on any computer as well um, all you got to do is make sure you go to first um, go connect to server and make sure you enter the URL that's gonna give you over here on the tablet when you go here for example let's go here and ask for instructions uh, as for Mac OS and it will give you a HTTPS address right here just make sure you enter it here and that's it when you hit connect you're done now like you see right here your drive it's over here this is the iPad right here and everything you right here is the same thing that's on the iPad mini right there look at that so if I click on that I can see the picture of the Mona Lisa I have on my iPad mini uh, for example I could go ahead also and and these wallpapers that I have over here I could drag them just drag them over here and like you see over here and over here it's transferring right now you have a, a, a red mark right there now it's done same thing over here I want to put this this thing over here and it works with audio works with mp3s like you see right there very very fast it works very very nice these are big wallpapers that I'm passing by and it works very very fast very seamlessly um, over here let's go ahead and see it like you see right here the wallpaper and the PS Vita thing over here I, I transferred now very very good and it works with audio mp3s it works with video I already tested it with video as well and it, it works very very good and that's it look at this so it's very easily so right now and anything that you do over here you will automatically see it here and that's it but keep in mind uh, the first time you connect your um, your tablet to the computer is gonna the computer is gonna ask you to create a password that way it will you know it will protect for, uh, it will protect you from anything that happens you know in between your computer and your iPad so just make sure you create a password and that's it very very easily and this is it guys this was a look at documents uh, from readable I think it is or readable very very cool app it's totally free excellent file manager it looks very nice everything works compatible with lots of documents mp3s PDF um, it works awesomely as a zip file extractor like you see right there uh, word pages pages pictures PNG awesome and the great thing my, for me the best thing about this app is the cloud integration you could just have every single cloud in one app you can access every single cloud from one app which is awesome have all my services in one simple app and that's it it looks beautiful too so guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Till next time guys.